Okay, hello everyone. My name is Casper. I'm going to talk about using Inkscape and a plugin called SVG to Shenzhen uh, and to export to KiCad to create uh, printed circuit board designs. Uh, I just want to get, I have a little presentation prepared about all the different layers of the PCB, so I want to kind of know if I should skip through that quickly or like how many people know what the different layers of the PCB are. Okay, so I'm going to go through this relatively quickly. Uh, the base layer is like a, a fiberglass layer, FL4. You get it in different thicknesses. 1.6 millimeter is probably the most common. You can get different substrates as well, but most PCBs will be FL4 fiberglass. On top of that, you have layers of copper. And the process for making PCBs really is to etch this copper to get your design onto it to have the connections that you uh, want. Um, there's an image missing because the internet. Uh, I don't know which layer I skipped, but you. Oh, it's a, it, this is a. There, oh, there we go. Right, cool. Right, so in, in, the, in the industrial PCB process, you have many of these copper fiberglass layers, and you have uh, a pro, uh, quite an accurate drilling and another uh, uh, a solder mask layer and a silk screen layer as well. Uh, so the mask layer is kind of like the color. If you, when you see PCBs, the, the color of the PCB is normally the, the mask layer. You can get a transparent mask as well, and then obviously there's a lack of color, but uh, you can get a, quite a, a lot of few uh, different colors, and you can do multiple masks as well to get, but that's quite expensive. Um, Silkscreen layer is where you put some information. Uh, it's normally white on green. This is uh, uh, like all of the references for the components are normally in silkscreen layer, but you can also add your little personal touch. And most uh, people do that. You have a lot of different drill sizes, but normally on a board you want to keep. You want to. You don't want to make it too complicated for the manufacturer and use loads of different, different, different drill sizes. If you have, if they just slightly varying, they'll probably clean that up for you and just use uh, like a standard drill when, when the drill sizes are close together. Um, so what do you want f to give to the manufacturer are Gerber files, which they specify all these different layers. Um, and to make that, you, you can use KiCad. KiCad will export to these uh, Gerber files. And so what we've been doing, oh, me and friends of mine, and just a lot of people around the world actually you can just you can if you're home etching you can just draw make draw onto a transparency or draw onto paper and then get it onto a transparency somehow and then use the lithography process to do home etching so really you can draw PCBs if you want to and you, you, you um, you're careful enough about where you're drawing the connections and you, you're able to kind of process that mentally you don't need CAD software and uh, Mark, just here, he d does really cool workshops as well where he, he scales up components in, f in these kinds of transparencies uh, or these laminated bits and they're 400% they're bigger than in actual size and you can um, then use that to draw your PCB in big and connect everything up and it's a really nice creative method of doing PCB designs. Um, and I've, I've done this as well, and I've got a little design here that I can pass around uh, for, like, a, it's a little oscillator. Unfortunately, I forgot the battery, otherwise you could hear it as well. We, we can pass this around, and there's a, another version of it where it's actually, I exported it to the, the professional manufacturing service, and it has uh, a mask and silkscreen layers as well. Um, so, but... That can also get, that's quite kind of labor intensive to prepare all this and do it by hand and scan it. And then we would use the bitmap to component tool in KiCad to get everything in. Uh, so we wanted to have a, a, a different process for using these, uh, a graphical tool like Inkscape and still uh, uh, and be able to draw PCBs in there. That's already half my talk. So I'm going to. Uh, just show you this. Um, so we're going to start Inkscape. Oh, 
I'm going to start kick it in the background there. Uh, so this uh, extension is called SVG Engine, and it's actually a fork of the bitmap to component tool. So um, it uses that to process the layers. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is just prepare the document. The sizes don't really matter. It used to have to be square, but not anymore. Uh, somehow I've turned this grid on, which is kind of annoying, but you can just turn it off again. And then we can just draw any. Well, so what it's done now is it's given you in Inkscape all the different layers that KiCad uses. Um, so we'll go into the edge cut layer, and we'll just draw any kind of shape. Obviously, we'll do a nice rectangle. No, sorry. <laughs> uh, we'll do, uh, let's do some kind of spiral. Uh, and just see if we can do another spiral. And make this actually into an outline layer. Mm -hmm. So what we have to do with this, we have to make sure this is all a kind of one path. Uh, uh, combine this path, so that's now one path. So I think um, so this is our edge cuts layer. We just need to make sure that it's properly connected here, because it has to be for the outline layer. You want one complete path. We just need to make sure it's connected properly. Properly connected there. Mm -hmm. mm. Nope. This one's so yeah, right. <coughs> I don't know if this is gonna be manufacturable. <laughs> but <laughs> what do you see as well if you if you have the mole uh, the, the the PCB manufacturers when you do something weird like this in the outline layer, because it's like such a fast and cheap process now, they will probably not get back to you and say so there's something wrong with the way you've done the outline. They will try and do it. Like if you look at the fingers of the mole, they've just because the routing path I, I chose there was really too tight for the for the CNC mill they use. They just kind of they just drilled it where I had where I had said there should be an edge like that because they can't do that. Um, so it would be interesting to see what they did with this. Um, so we'll now we'll export that. We'll say export to KiCad. So you can either here do it as a PCB design, uh, like it'll, it, the output would be a KiCad PCB, or you can do a module. And we probably don't have t time to do the module bit. But um, so this is this is a little bit awkward, but this is due to the limitations of the Inkscape plugins. I don't know if this has changed the new versions. We'll have to look at that if we can do this better. But we will say you kind of have to know where you're going to put this. I'm just going to say I'm going to put this into this example directory. And by default, when you don't save your SVG yet, the name will be drawing. It's everything in Inkscape. When you start off, it's just drawing. If you save it as something else, then you also, your export will be renamed as well. Um, right, right. So now that's gone here. I've already got this open, I think. I think it's overwritten this, hopefully. Nope. <laughs> Just make sure. Uh, I normally don't use this desktop, so it's a bit. M. Ah, uh, wait, hold on, over here. So well, let's just remove this and then try the export again. So. Oh, I, maybe I didn't even press export before. But yeah, so there's a new PCB here. And it's not there. Ah! Mm -hmm. Right, something's gone wrong, unfortunately. This is all one path.
So the, the, the trouble with the outline layer is really it needs to be one kind of path. The other layers, we can get, maybe I can show you this quicker, because uh, the outline layer is actually much, a little bit trickier than any of the other layers. Because in, in these layers, anything you draw, it doesn't matter. You don't have to convert to path or do anything like that in, in, in Inkscape. You can just draw whatever you like, and it will be. Uh, uh, it will just. It's just. It doesn't. The colors don't matter. So you can make it pretty much any color. But it just goes. There's a threshold in the. In it converts it to a bitmap, and then uses that bitmap to make the the PCB layer. So uh, if it's above any kind of darkness threshold, this will be turned into copper layers. So let's do something a little bit more fun. Maybe a star in this. So all, that whole star will be. Um, we're on the we're on the front copper layer here. We've drawn the star, and we we'll export that. And we'll open that here. Just open it again. Still not worked. <laughs> what is going on? Filed there. Huh? Yeah, I, and I deleted the file and opened it again. So I, I, I had deleted this and then done the export. It's the demo effect. Oh. There we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> 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 So from there, we really the the path the, the most useful bit is then going directly into the three D view and looking at what 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 is going to be. Um, <laughs> it doesn't look manufacturable, and generally, oh, I have these rulers as well that I wanted to pass out, which is one project I did with this. Just pass these around and have a look. Ooh, that's my phone. Oh, that's the mic. Um, pass it up, maybe. Um, so, just to kind of finish off, because I'm probably out of time, aren't I? I don't, what's, what's my time? How's my time for me? Uh, yeah, you should start your second talk now. Okay. So, <laughs> you might, when, when I first sent off this PCB ruler, the <laughs> email I got back is, it's crashed our uh, cam software, so you, you can run into trouble like this. But really, when it's so cheap and like... You, you can kind of play around and see what kind of tests the limits of manufacturing. Uh, yeah, so this, the, this plugin was uh, developed by EOC, aka BadGeek, and uh, I think it's really like, for me, it's like how I kind of always wanted to design PCBs. And I would like, if you enjoy working this way and you use it, uh, support uh, EOC on, on Patreon. And I'm going to move to my second talk. <laughs>